Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a quick uh, speed test comparison of uh, the OnePlus Nord N10 and the Moto G 5G. The Moto G 5G is uh, launched in India and the N10 we aren't sure about it whether it would launch but we wanted to check out how different are the two 5G chipsets in almost the same price range. We're talking about the Snapdragon 690 against Snapdragon 750G from Qualcomm, both from the same brand, but 690 probably seems to be one of the previous, uh, I mean, one of the lower end generations, but uh, let's see how they do actually differ when we talk about the regular usage. And uh, before we start, if we take a look at the benchmark scores, that's on the Android benchmark to see how much uh, the processors are capable of, you can see that there's quite a difference here. There's almost a difference of about 40,000 points uh, and it's lesser than 3 lakh for the OnePlus Nord N10 with Snapdragon 690, but it's 3 lakh 27,000 on the Moto G 5G. And if we break down the scores as well, you can see that both the CPU and GPU scores are better on Moto G 5G. But one interesting thing to, uh, thing to see here is that the UI score is not that different. It's only a bit lesser on the OnePlus Nord N10 and that is what makes it interesting to see how good is the Oxygen OS uh, and how well is it actually optimized when compared to the stock Android. So now we are having uh, the both the devices on airplane mode and have them on the same Wi-Fi before we start opening each and every application. So first starting with Android to benchmark, uh, we throughout the entire test we have seen that there's not a huge difference but there is that marginal difference between the two devices where the Moto G 5G in most of the cases is faster. Now moving on to Netflix and uh, here you can see that uh, rather the OnePlus Nord N10 was faster than the Moto G 5G. Next moving on with the shopping app that's uh, the Amazon Shopping. Here mostly the content load depends on the internet as well so uh, the Amazon load actually loaded up a bit faster on uh, the Moto G 5G and the same case with the Amazon Prime Video as well. Now moving on with the next one that's the Play Store, one of the very regularly used apps and it's close, very close on both the devices. Now moving on to the next one that's the ESPN app. Here it was quite a bit of a weird situation where we saw that uh, the Moto G 5G was not loading the app well and anyway uh, moving on we can see that now uh, the finally the app was loaded and uh, OnePlus Nord N10 was better in that case. Now moving on to the next one, Facebook again almost close on both the devices. Now the next social app that's uh, Twitter, again Moto G 5G was only a bit faster here. Now we'll go directly to the game apps that's PUBG Mobile where we usually see how uh, fast the loading of the game is. Inside the game the performance usually depends on the GPU more and uh, the game loading still depends on the CPU. So here we saw with a speeded up clip that the Moto G 5G loaded the PUBG Mobile Korean version faster than the OnePlus Nord N10. Inside the game I would uh, clearly say that uh, the uh, Moto G 5G is better again with uh, the performance of the game though have both the phones have the same 40 FPS uh, output. Now opening up Asphalt 8 Air 1 that's another game which takes up some time to load and here as well the OnePlus Nord N10 lagged by a few seconds. So overall you can see that the Snapdragon 690 is not that fast or not that powerful when compared to uh, the Snapdragon 750G but once we clear every application we want to see if there's issues with the RAM taking up the load in the background or whatever it's doing. So we again open up PUBG Mobile to see if there's actual difference again. So we see that no, uh, it's the same thing that you see here, Moto G 5G loaded up PUBG Mobile faster than the uh, OnePlus Nord N10. Now with the speed test, we have connected both on the same server and on the same Wi-Fi. You can see the clearly, you can clearly see that the speeds here are not going to be really different. So the Wi-Fi connectivity as well is not bad on any of these devices. We have uh, the router at the same distance from both the smartphones obviously. Uh, so. Uh, if you see here it was 94.1 on uh, both upload and download on the uh, OnePlus Nord N10 but if we check that out on the Moto G 5G it's not going to be really different. So that 1 to 2 Mbps is going to be that, I mean that depends on the real time usage as well so obviously not a huge difference there. So with the Wi-Fi connectivity there's no issues at all so it's all good with uh, this one but the 5G speeds we are going to test that because we don't have 5G yet in India. We are going to see that in the near future. Now finally we are going to do this uh, reboot test to see how uh, different or which one is faster obviously. So even though the Moto G 5G took up a uh, few seconds uh, more to initially start booting up but 
the boot up speed was much faster on the Moto G 5G when compared to the OnePlus Nord N10. So in the end that's one conclusion to see and even with the Geekbench scores you can see on both the single core and the multi score, uh, multi -core scores uh, it's uh, the Moto G 5G that's leading uh, by a good margin. And you have seen the Android scores earlier as well so it's uh, obviously clear that even though with the Oxygen OS uh, um, optimizations the chipset has to be much better on the N10 to uh, make it perform better but obviously 690 is not anywhere close to 750G. It is a decent chipset. If you are someone who's looking for a budgeter variant of a smartphone that has 5G connectivity you can still go with the OnePlus Nord N10. Otherwise if you want a future proof device with a great performance you could still go with the Moto G 5G. If you are considering only these two choices there are obviously more options in the market. There's also the Xiaomi Mi 10i that is coming soon. So obviously there's that uh, a difference here but you can say in this comparison at least that the Moto G 5G is a clear better choice when it comes to the core performance so with the CPU as well as with the GPU when compared to the OnePlus Nord N10 and Snapdragon 690 is not one of those great chipsets to compete with the Snapdragon 750G. So that's it guys I hope you like this video if you do do share and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thanks for watching see you next video.